I've invented a generator that generates excess electricity. Einstein said E equals MC squared. That is not correct. It's actually E equals M. Energy equals mass. For everywhere you have mass, you have atoms, and spinning around the atoms for eternity, is so, so far as we know, are the electrons, which is the basis for electrical current with copper. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but it can be moved around. In all past inventions of this nature, people have failed to recognize that and tried to create energy. I am not creating inner energy, I'm moving it around. First of all, gravity had to be beaten at no cost. And not only beaten, but a new reality because all of Newtonian's theories are totally perfectly correct. All the laws of motion, laws of thermodynamics, perfect. I've created a new reality here by overcoming Ernst's theorem of 1865 or 68, whatever it was, partly saying no permanent, permanent magnets cannot be used because in any form to get in any way to do any work because it would be free and with all the problems of moving around, read Ernst's theorem yourself if you want to. Well, I've overcome that by magnetic pressure. These are two positive poles in the center, if you see in here. One opposing the other, and it's floating. Then by the flywheel action, the flywheel action overcomes all problems that Earnshaw, Earnshaw states in his theorem. This works perfectly well. That is a frictionless bearing. The reason this doesn't go against any laws of physics is because this is now floating free of gravity, but it is still maintaining its mass, its weight. So it has torque. In outer space, I could spin this flywheel and spin forever. I could, go, I could stop it just like, well, it has no momentum. Here, it's floating free of gravity. It centers itself, in the, it centers itself on the axle in the middle there. It's frictionless, but it still maintains its weight, so bang. Here, the next thing with running a, and this setup, this is a much, the next part of a generator is that you can't overcome what is commonly known as load. That is, if you have a smaller electric motor, running a generator even the same size it'll run alright but when you put it under load that is get it to do work you could you notice that what is the choking down of the generator what is commonly known as load what I found load to be is actually diamagnetism when the copper is in proximity the copper coils are in a generator are close in proximity with the magnet they become diamagnetic I have two flywheels here. This is a very this is a a rare earth magnet. If you notice, it is floating also on this is floating here. And then what is different in my invention is I have another magnet up here opposing and this is all under pressure. This is magnetic pressure. So although it's floating, I'm able to hold it in place. in the same situation and the and, you know okay so the way that this works is over here this is my copper coil used in a typical fashion any normal generator from this point on it becomes just as any other generator 
if this magnet were in a fixed position, as all generators are, when it when it comes when it would come around here, it would be a it's it would be it would stop the entire machine because it would be boom. It would put it when you put it under load. Instead of choking the machine down, the force of what the time the diamagnetism causes it to spin this in this direction going past a spinning magnet generates the same amount or causes enough electrons to flow as a fixed magnet all right and this is a typical copper copper coil puts out ac it puts out ac then i'm converting it to a typical way down here into DC power coming over here and this is wired into a, my electric motor this point the coil being converted to DC is hooked up to the electric motor therefore it's under load it's doing work and as you can see this is this electric motor is much smaller than the generator that's working At this point, right here, that one coil is moving electrons through the system, through the motor, powering the generator, under load, and there you have it. I should have, I could put four more magnets, two more magnets. A bunch of more coils but every time I get this thing going really fast it cut you right right now as you notice it is under load and it is not choking down 